Me and we'll get this all straightened out. There ought to be a law about what they're doing over there. No, there probably is. Hey, listen, the fish are right here, yes. yes. I know. I get them all. I, I can come back. Yeah, no, no, stick around. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Put it in the report and send it in. Yeah. Thank you. So, I'm all yours. I've got this idea about Casey Rogers, and Frisco wanted me to tell you about it. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll take any help I can get. I started thinking about this, and it seems to me that since this guy showed up at Anna's, maybe it has something to do with the Grant Putnam situation. Maybe this guy just wants revenge or something. Yeah, that had occurred to me, but uh, Anna has no recollections of it. Well, he could have been any of her suspects. He could have been with any of the cases that she or Sean worked on. It's possible. I want to go to the P.I. office and look through all the back files. And if I don't find anything, I want to go to Anna's garage and see if I can find anything there. Good. I'll come up and give you a hand. You will? Yep. Great. Excuse me. I don't know what. Uh, well, more of the same. We're getting more complaints from fishermen about man's best friend running loose on Spoon Island. What are we going to do about this? I guess I'm going to have to pay him a little visit. Oh, come on. Why don't you let me do that? Uh, send somebody uh, else, maybe. Fresh air might do me a spot of good. I'm sorry, sweetie. Uh, I was going to come over and help you with this. Oh, I'm just glad I have to go ahead. Listen, I will drop by Anna's later on. By then, Robin should be there, and we'll link up. And if you've got anything on Casey Rogers, I'll be very, very appreciative. Okay. Anna, who's Gina, I know it's session and you're due for your break, but if you could just give me two minutes to check on Casey, you can go, okay? Well, okay. Okay. Okay, Spock, do your thing. The name's Amy. Look busy. Amy? I don't want Mr. Rogers disturbed under any conditions. No unauthorized personnel. Is he any better? Sorry to say no, but no one goes in except me, understand? Yes, I understand. You told me twice now. Good work. Now be cool. this way. I think this is insane. We should have told Robert about this, turned him in. We don't know what we're dealing with here. No, no. I can explain. Yeah. I won't hurt them. You're damn right you won't hurt them. You won't? Okay. Um, Robin? Mm -hmm. Robin, listen, would you go in the other room and just, uh, all the other rooms and pull the blinds and, and, and lock up the windows and stuff? Sure. Okay. Okay? I'll be there. Okay, go. Hey, Spock. Look, I know why you're here. How? Oh. I just know. I want you to start talking. No more cute stuff. Just tell me what's going on. Robin and I talk. Yeah, I know. You fill her head with all this make-believe. But this is me. I want the real stuff. You hear me? Spit it out. Let's have it. Spit? Uh, um, um, Frisco, just let him speak, okay? Should I spit first? Oh, uh, no. That's okay. Um, right. See, I, I really, I really want to know what you want with my daughter. She is my friend. All right. All right. What do you guys talk about? The crystal. The one that she found? Yes. Many years ago. As you count, many hundreds of years ago, my people left a large piece of it here. Let me guess, on Spoon Island? Yes. Or what is now Spoon Island? How did I know? Um, it's okay. Just go on. To me and my people, 
The crystal is... Well, is it... I don't know. Really like a source of, of energy. Is that really what it is? Yes. By Earth standards, a very powerful energy. Hey, hey fella, cut to the chase, will you? Chase. Define chase. Uh, wild goose chase. Okay. What you got us on? Get to the point here. Excuse me? Um, would you come with me? I, I really need to hear all of this. And you can sit down here, you know? My people didn't worry. Only one piece of the crystal resurfaced. Then we felt a second piece resurface. That was the bit my daughter found, was it? Yes. Then I was sent here. To do what? To take it and the other pieces back to Lumina. <laughs> crystal, crystal, who's got the crystal? Oh, it's that. like being in a science fiction movie. I'm sorry. Why do you need to find this crystal? Because people on Earth do not have the intelligence to channel the energy properly. Mm. Mm. What happens if you don't find it? Annihilation. So this thing, right, it's, it's in pieces? Yes. In the hands of those who do not understand, it is dangerous. In my hands, it is safe. It gives life. Robin gave me life. In the hospital? Robin brought me the crystal. Robin brought me life. So you're saying that this crystal makes your heart beat? It is my heart energy, yes. But it will not last forever. That is why I must find all the pieces. And if you don't find all these pieces, then the world falls apart. Is that what you're saying? No. It would blow apart. An energy greater than the sun. It would blow apart and be no more. Mm. But, um, so when you find these uh, pieces... I will have life. And take it to my people who understand the energy. That's why you've got to get over to Spoon Island. Yes. I mean no harm. I only want... To get home. Hmm. Okay, um... Everything's all locked up. You okay? Oh. Okay. Hi. Okay. Um, Robin? Yes. Um, why don't you go see in the kitchen, okay? There's, uh... There's some... Food in there. Maybe Casey wants to eat something. Mom, you don't have to keep sending me out. He's not going to hurt me. I would like an apple. E.T. to tell him to phone home. Oh, I know. Oh, dear. Um, but you know all this stuff, I mean, like, you know, about annihilation and lumina. I mean, that's all the stuff I that know, you've I got, know, right? I know, I know. So how does he know about that? No. Either we're dealing with someone who's extremely clever or is for real. in the same room with the being 
children. This is insane. I think we're an attorney man right now. Queen. Well, maybe you're right, but... This is a poor Okay. Look at him, Frisco. I mean, you know, the way that he responds to Robin and, and all this stuff. I know. You know they, Somebody could be right in stuff for all we know. Yeah, I agree. He's preposterous. But there's something about him that makes me want to trust him. It's Felicia. <laughs> Get him out of here. Yeah. Robin, lurch. You gotta move. You have to get out of here. You gotta go. Please, go in the bedroom quickly. Casey Rogers, didn't Frisco tell you? Oh, no. I didn't. Uh-uh, no. Sorry, I forgot. But that's okay. I, I don't think that that's really necessary. Robert thought it would be a good idea, and I wanted to get some information before he came back. Oh, okay. Well, where's he gone? To Spoon Island. What's, What's he doing there? Oh, well, he wanted to get some information on this complaint. There's some mysterious things going on there. And he went to go check it out. Yes? Uh... You're not exactly what I expected. May I help you? Well, I hope so. Come in. Thank you. I understand you're with the police department. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My error, Commissioner. One could say you are the police department. Tell me, who is one? <laughs> I am Desiree, and how can I help you? I've had a couple of complaints against your dogs. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I guess you just don't know the breed. They're very protective. Yeah. As the security system is none better. I understand that uh, a reclusive writer lives here, that wouldn't you would. <laughs> and if I answered that, what would happen to anonymity? Well, loyalty is a commendable quality in this day and age. And it's very rewarding. I'll bet it is. Well, keep your dogs under control and get them lost. Uh, I might think about doing that. Do it. Only if the commissioner promises to see me while I'm in Port Charles. Excuse me. Hello? Yes, he's here. It's for you, Commissioner. Scorpio. It's Alan Quartermain. I thought you'd want to know, Robert, Casey Rogers has escaped. What do you mean escaped? I thought this guy was just about to buy the farm. That's exactly right. He was. Buzz, don't ask me how it happened, but it did. I'm gonna call Anna next. Yeah, you do that. I'll be right there. Uh, sorry to cut this little meeting short. Oh, what happened? Bit of a problem on the mainland. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, that doesn't matter. It comes with living here. Yeah. Rogers escapes out of hospital. What? No. You're kidding. That's yeah. impossible. Yeah. Yeah. To be I can't that figure it. I just funny. cannot figure it. Just does not wash. Um, how's Robin? Oh, she's asleep. In a room. Yeah. 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 Well, I won't bother with it. Okay. I sure would like to ID this guy. You know? Yeah. Well, you have a file. What? It's an empty one, but it's... Casey Roger oh. is. Casey Rogers. There's no information, no last address or anything. Hmm. What do you know about this, huh? Yeah. Huh? Oh. I don't know. I mean... Uh, oh, it was probably the tent we had. You know when you weren't there, Felicia? I guess this must have been a witness. And I never got round to questioning yeah. them, right? Could be. Uh -huh. Oh, I thought I was on to something. Yeah. Well, honey, it was a good try, you know. Never mind. Even yeah. the best ones don't pan out. <laughs> hmm. You know what, everybody? Hmm. It's been a really long day. And I I'd love to, you know, just... 
relax. Yeah, you must be absolutely beat, love. I well, am. I'm going to take off. Give Robin a kiss for me. She calm down now. Uh, yeah. Um, Felicia said that you've gone to Spoon Island. Uh, yeah, well, a fisherman has lodged a complaint about some wild dogs over there. So I went over to check it out. Yeah, they're there all right. Mm-hmm. Along with a rather interesting security system. Mm-hmm. And a very exotic woman. It looks like she was straight out of James Bond. Mm. <laughs> okay. Now, yeah, you coming? Oh, I thought I'd stick around here in case this Casey Rogers guy shows up or something. Don't worry about it. I've got a uniformed guy up front as we speak. Oh, good. Very good. Well. I think we should get a van of some peace. Sorry I didn't find more. That's okay. Yeah. It's in the garage. Okay. okay. Bye. Uh, Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Bye. Give uh, Robin a big kiss. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Where? Here we go. Bye, are you going? You can't leave me. Oh, what am I going to do about this? Your job now, Fox. What Where's did you keep Coming. Okay. Call you in the morning. All right, bye. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Dad doesn't suspect a thing. Yeah, he will eventually. No, he won't. He's been in the garage the whole time. No one's noticed. What? It's going to be pretty cold tonight. Better get you a blanket. I'll be right back. I will go. I cause you trouble. Mm. You know when you were over on Spoon Island? Yes. Did you... Did you go into the house? Yes. But I was weak. No crystal. There were angry people there. They grabbed me and took me back to a place called Max Marine. These people, um, would you recognize them? You know, um, okay, would you remember the face? I remember everything I see, everything I hear. All right. There's a man, right? And, um, it's very difficult to, it's been a long time. No. Thank you. Okay, now this man, he smokes a cigar. Do you know what a cigar is? Define, please. Well, it's not very good for you, and it, it's, it's brown. It's like a leaf, like they roll the leaf up and smoke comes out the end. With an aroma? Yes. Yes, I remember that. I remember this cigar. Long, thin cigar. Yes, in a dish on the table. Why? Is it important? Yeah. Okay. Y'all set, Casey? Okay. Good night. Uh, Robin, you come straight back, okay? Disappeared. I thought he was on his deathbed. Hey, everybody else thought that too, but he's gone. <clears throat> I'm sure that Sean doesn't care about this. Honey, let's get something to eat, okay, babe? Want to join us for a cup of coffee? Well, I, 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 I already had some. I, uh, I was going to run an errand, but I think I'll do that later. I'm going to go over and check on Alice. Oh, just... No, no, no. I was just heading over there myself, so there's no reason. We'll go together for you. then. Alin's going to be back in a minute. You remember Alin? Yes. The warrior. Yeah. She's a bit protective. Mom, he's been in the garage all night. Okay. Yeah. Sit down. I'm sorry you had to sleep in the garage all night. I experienced no discomfort. Good. I do not wish to cause inconvenience, mm -hmm. only to recover the crystal. I understand that. Maybe we should, uh, 
work out some way that we're gonna get it back. You want some coffee? Coffee contains caffeine, which in large dosages may be harmful to vital organs. How about an apple? Apples, yes. Please. Oh, they're in the kitchen. Oh, hi. Oh, get away from her! No, fine, it's fine, it's fine. Listen, I can explain everything. You mean like from uh, outer space? From a planet called Luminous. This is a joke, right? Uh, you've got one of these cameras set up. No, there's no cameras. Honestly, I know it is very hard to believe, but you just have to, all right? Well, I don't believe it. Okay, that's good too. Fine. Then you just have to take my word for it. Then I should call the commission. No, don't do that. Uh-uh, please. Why not? Because he can't know about this. Oh. Oh, Lynn. You know about it. I know about it. Robin knows about it. And Frisco knows about it. That is all. You cannot tell a living soul. Do you promise me that? If I tell anyone, they haul me off. They will haul you off. I need some coffee. Could you go make some coffee? How about tea? Tea's good too. Okay. Tea? Yeah. What do you think? Oh, I'll... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Nolan? Aliens from space in any language is crazy. I must go. Where? To get the crystal. No, uh-uh. But I am causing you trouble. That's okay. I can take trouble. Um, you sit down. There. Okay, now you've got to listen to me. Hello? Right, now you have to listen to me, okay? You cannot go over to Spoon Island, all right? It is very dangerous. Dangerous. Do you understand what dangerous is? Yes, I discovered this concept on Spoon Island. Well, that's just the tip of the iceberg there. Mm. Tip of the iceberg. Oh, never mind. Now, you may be advanced technologically, but when it comes to human behavior... My are... knowledge is limited. Right. Robin has taught me certain things. Like what? Reading faces. Especially the eyes. Last night when we talked about Windermere, your eyes were speaking. They're saying the same thing now, but you do not wish to tell me. Well, you certainly learn fast, don't you? Um, okay, this crystal of yours, right? That's really powerful, isn't it? In its entirety, yes. You said annihilation. Yes, if handled by an uneducated person, such as a human. That is why I'm here, to take it home. You think it's possible that someone else knows about the power of this thing? Okay, okay, another human. Possible. I did not feel the pull of crystal from the island until long after I met Robin. You think maybe there's a piece over there now that wasn't there when... when you arrived? Yes. Hide. Hide. Shannon, open the door. Oh, it's Frisco. Go on, unlock. We're just talking. Yeah, we well, ain't got no time to talk right now. Sean's parked in the car. What? I didn't do McKellys. I couldn't get rid of him. And Robert's at the hospital asking about Lurch. Oh, um, you have to go. Yeah, move the it, The garage. Pal. Move it. Can you go this way? Yeah. Come on, spaceman. Please. Move them legs. Let's go. Get Let's him go. out of here. Thank you. Oh, Anna. Sean, I just thought I'd... Frisco told me all about Casey. Oh, Is yeah. Is Robin all right? She's uh, upset. Oh, well, maybe I should talk to her. No, don't do that. I don't think that we should talk about Casey anymore. Uh, Sean. Oh, Lynn. Hi. 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 
Sean's here. To see Robin? She's not up yet. Up? Uh, oh, oh, no, no. Tea? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't have any fresh tea. I, I've just been so busy. Uh, reading this book. Oh, uh, that's right. The Alpine Express. You know it? Uh, no, 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 no. I haven't read it. Uh, have you read it, Anna? No, I didn't read it. She keeps going on to me. I didn't read it. Olin, do you think you should go see how Robin is? Oh, sure. I, I'll check on her. Yeah, no, right. No, please, don't wake her up. She probably needs to sleep. Oh, sure. <laughs> I, I'll check on her. Hi. Um, hmm. I'd offer you coffee, but, you know, she didn't make any yet. Oh, no, <clears throat> It's okay, I've got a million things to do down at the warehouse anyway. I'll just tell Robin that you were here, right? Yeah, yeah, do that. No, no actually, it's a, a it's a good thing that this uh, Casey Rogers disappeared. I think the guy was up to something. Yeah, uh-huh. Me too. Yeah. Um, do you think that I could talk to you later? Alone? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. I'll be around. Great. Okay. So, I'll see you then. All see right. you, Sean. Bye. Sure. Couldn't have gone very far, not in his condition. Who was the last one to see him? Well, the last time I saw him was early afternoon. No, it was later. Excuse me, Dr. Quartermain, but you were in his room last night. No, I wasn't. I looked in, remember? You told me that you were examining the patient and not to disturb you. What are you talking about? I went to dinner at 6.30. But I distinctly remember. Mrs. Lavery was there. She was? Yes, yes, I told her that she had to wear a sterile gown, and that's when I heard you and you told me not to interrupt. It's just not possible. Wait, you said that you, you heard him. You didn't see him. No, I recognized his voice. But I did see you later at Rhodes Place. I'm telling you, Robert, I was not in Casey's room. Alan, I saw you walk out of it, and then you said not to let anyone else go in. What is the matter with the two of you? Um, maybe it's someone who, uh, sounds like you. Oh, no, I doubt it. Alan has a very distinct voice. Besides that, only hospital personnel were allowed in there. Myself, Harrison, Monica, nurses, Robert. period. Robert, the phone's for you. Thank you. Scorpio. Commissioner, this is the fisherman who found your badge. Oh, yeah? If you're still looking for the guy who swiped it, I saw him hitchhiking near Well Road. When? This morning. Thank you. Commissioner, I gotta go. Nick said that she saw Anna leave too. Maybe you should speak to Anna. If this leak pans out, I won't have to. Well, did he buy it? Buy what? Um, oh, um, did he believe you? Right. I don't know. He said, thank you. Oh, great. That's good, yeah. It means it's out of our hair. Right. In your hair. Yeah, it's oh, a it's... figure of speech that's kind of, uh... You yeah. really are from another planet, aren't you? A star, a star. actually. Yeah, I, I, I... My mistake, sorry. A star. Well, time to waste. Where the hell are you going? I'm going over to Spoon Island. That's no, you're not. Anna, you're not going over there. I'm going over there. Go Listen, this is my mission. I don't no, want to argue can't about can't this. I'm going over there. That's I will go. No. no. Recovering the crystal is my mission. Listen, pal, here on Earth it's called turf, and you're on mine right now, so unless you want to wind up in a test tube, oh, just stay here and let the yeah. Americans handle it, I'm okay? Going, the human I'm beings. Going. No, you're not. I'm Listen, not. why don't I just go and tell Robert about don't this, you huh? Tell well, why shouldn't I? You think he's going to buy a story about an alien? He's probably going to have as much trouble as I'm having buying it. Well, then why do you want to get involved in something you don't even believe in? Because I want to prove to myself that everybody's not wacko around here, that's why. And if I do prove that, then I'll be behind you 100%. You mean that? Probably not. Regardless, somebody has to figure out the security system over there. It's very complicated. Elementary. Excuse me. I will show you. Go 
going on? Uh, Casey's showing Frisco how to get the rock thing back. Oh, make sure you tell him how to disarm the security system. He just did. How'd you do this? Elementary. Yeah. Oh, dogs. There's dogs over there, too. He can show you that, too. Frisco may not have the mental ability to subdue wild creatures. <laughs> he hasn't met Felicia yet. Don't worry about it, blue boy. I'll think of something. Like what? Like something that proves my incredible mental ability. Dog bones. There's some in the kitchen that Owen was saving for Friday. Do you think he'd mind if I borrowed a few? It's for a good cause. This guy's really getting on my nerves. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I do not understand. Oh, um, well, see, dogs... Okay. Earth dogs, they like bones. I mean, why are you doing my work? When we care about someone, then we just help them. A peculiar concept. Really? Anyway, that's what we do. I hope it works. Uh, I'm just going to go look out the window. What are you doing here? I thought you went to the P.I. office. Well, I did, and I was on my way home, and I saw you come in here. What are you doing in here? Well, I... Robin's friend in the hospital has, has been sick, right? She's been so upset. Oh, you're going to buy her a pet? That's very sweet. Yeah, I was going to get her something. Oh. So, <clears throat> I thought the best place to look was here in the pet store, maybe, huh? Oh, <laughs> I don't know if a puppy is such a good idea. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How well, come? Well, you remember when Robert bought that puppy for Robin, Anna didn't appreciate it because it made a mess all over the place. Right, I'd forgotten about that. God, what would I do without my level-headed wife, huh? I love you so much. You're nothing without me. Don't you ever forget it. I won't. Ever. Let's go home. Well, we will, but I got to get Robin something first. Well, what? Well, come here. Maybe I'll, uh... Oh. Yeah. Maybe I'll get her something for Friday. Robert's dog, huh? Well, why would a gift for Friday make Robin happy? Hmm? Well, honey, the whole gift of giving would make her feel better, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, here comes the clerk, sweetheart. Will you uh, hold yeah. on to this and I'll see what, what he has to say, all right? Now, this emits a sound that only dogs can hear. It makes them nuts. It's not foolproof. No, 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 this... no, it's perfect. Here, keep the change. Thanks, you've been a big help, thanks. Thank you. Honey, I couldn't find anything for me. We better get out of here, okay, sweetheart? Well, aren't you going to ask me? Ask you what? Everything went with Casey Rogers. Oh, yeah, I'm, so I'm sorry. I had to go. You're being very weird. Oh, well, it's just that this place brings out the animal in me, you know, the real... <laughs> Stop it, I want to tell you about something. I have a theory. Okay, let's hear it. I love theories. <laughs> Stop it and listen to me and don't laugh. I'm serious about it. I love this. it. I won't laugh. And don't talk in front of this little puss. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. Go ahead. Tell me about it. I want to hear your theory. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay. Well, it's a good situation as I was saying. Okay. Human feeling, as Robin explained it to me, is foreign to Lumina. Oh, then I guess in that respect, maybe we're a little bit more advanced than you are. Perhaps. I've seen this quality between you and Robin. Love, you mean? Love. Robin tried to explain love. Yeah, how do you explain that? Um, it's kind of, it's like a feeling between two people, you know. It can be very beautiful. Unfortunately, we have no such feeling on Lumina. Oh, I think you're wrong. I mean, your people... 
What am I saying? Um, okay. Where you come from, you know, they, they cared enough to send you here to stop us from, from using that thing unwisely, right? Now that is a form of caring. That's, that's like love. There is logic in what you say. Oh, good. <laughs> I wasn't sure. This thing's really dangerous, isn't it? In the wrong hands, yes. Yeah. <sighs> you have the other emotion. What? Fear. You understand that? Only since I've read love on your face. When fear is there, it fights it. Yeah, I suppose it would, really. That is why the people on the island must not have the crystal. Why? I do not think they know love. You're not supposed to come in here. I tried to stop him. Get rid of him. We're going to talk. But of course. I hope this means you're here to keep up your end of the bargain. Why should I? When P.K. Sinclair hasn't kept his. Did you like it? No. What are you trying to do? Get us both killed? <sighs> Get us killed. And my critics accuse me of being melodramatic. Cut the crap. I have no idea what you're talking about. I said come off of it. All I had to do is page through that thing to find out that Anna was your heroine. Is she? Daphne Devane? Come on, I know an anagram when I see one. How clever. No, no. Clever of you. What was it Daphne, uh, stealing microfilm in Istanbul? Cracking safes, charming shakes out of their secrets. Something about Davna inspires my already fertile imagination. You didn't imagine a damn thing. Names may have changed, but you and I both know that all those events really happened. Yeah, you did always have a good memory, Sean. So does Anna. Come, what's the harm in writing about exciting adventures that took place years ago? You know exactly what the harm is. Because if she ever reads that... Well, has she? No, not so far. And she won't. What makes you so sure? Why should she read about adventures, danger, when she's already been through it all? So you do admit you've been writing about Anna, huh? I'm a writer, Sean. A sponge. I pick up bits and bits from everyone I meet. It's funny. I always thought of you as a vulture, preying on everyone. Vultures don't usually share what they eat. You took an unnecessary risk. None of my readers actually believe a woman of such charm, courage, cleverness actually exists. That's why they're so fascinated by her. <laughs> and you're the most fascinated of all, aren't you? Am I? Yes, fascinated by a woman you could never have. I could have. I chose a more lucrative alternative. One. Suggested by you, Sean. Sure. Yeah, we made a deal. After paging through that book, obviously you've reneged on it. Well, I'm happy you find my writing so compelling and believable. After all, it's only a fantasy of a dead man. That's true. Then I suggest you get back into the grave. 
Because if Anna and Robert ever find out what's really going on and realize that you're still alive, they'll kill you. Hey, Commissioner. I want to talk to you. You're going to give me a commendation. For what? For helping you find your uh, badge. I got to bust you for wasting my time. What? Phone call. Casey Rogers being on the Willow Road. I don't know what you're talking Now, I'm warning you. You ever pull a stunt like this again, and I'll make you disappear, pal. I didn't make a call, I swear. I've been out of my boat. I asked my workman. Someone called, and they said it was you. Maybe it was that guy trying to throw you off his trail. Well, the guy sure sounded like you. What is he, a ventriloquist? What can I do, Commissioner? Keep your nose clean. the head of the WSB in the good old days in Paris, you would never have lost your famous school. Well, maybe by getting out of the WSB, I became a little more human. Uh, with all its frailties, I hope one of them isn't foolhardiness. We you just get to the point? So quickly, you used to enjoy the game more. I'm getting very tired of playing your little games. Now I'm getting very tired of you, too. Surely you're not foolish enough to think you can undermine my purchase of the Wellington collection. I never said that. By sending a foolish spy like Robert Scorpio. What? Oh, yes. He was here yesterday. I certainly didn't send him. I'll tell you something. If Robert gets the scent... He said 
He was here to investigate. Now listen hard. A fisherman's complaint about my dogs. Do you really believe that the, the police commissioner of Port Charles would come all the way out here just to investigate some minor complaint? Mm. What do you take me for? Of course I didn't believe him. Don't you realize that once Robert starts digging, he's not going to give up? That's right. So why don't we beat him at his own game? Meaning what? We finalized our arrangement and I was never here. All right, fine. I'll gladly sell you the Wellington collection. Good. Just as soon as you let me on your latest plot. Well, considering the little crystal necklace you gave to Saray the other night, I would say you already have a good clue. I need more than that. Well, fine. But it's only a matter of time before Anna and Robert put the pieces together. Yeah, Faison, I really don't get this. Why did you come to Port Charles in the first place? I wanted the collection. Really? You knew that Anna and Robert were here. You also knew what would happen if they saw you. It doesn't seem to bother you at all. Obviously not as much as it bothers you, but then I'm not Robert's long life friend. Well, unlike you, I would gladly eliminate him if he got in my way. But you'd never eliminate Anna. Try me, Sean. You're still in love with her. Where is Frisco? He went out on an errand. Yeah, I know. You know? Yeah, I saw him at the pet store. The pet store? Yeah, he was buying a puppy for Robert, and then I told him not to because of that puppy that Robert bought, remember? Yeah. Well, don't worry, he's not going to buy anything for her. I mean, he said he was going to buy her a gift, but not a puppy. <laughs> wonder where he is. Should have been here by now. You said that you had a theory, didn't you? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, about Casey Rogers. Let me tell you this. The idea is a little bit far-fetched. Hey. But I think you're going to like the idea. Hi. Hey. Did you find Casey Rogers? Mm, not yet. Uh, could we have a word for just a minute or two? Yeah. Good. Well, this is my cue to make tea. Uh-huh. If you'd like some. I'll knock before I come back in. Okay. Well. What'd you find out? I had a talk with Alan uh, earlier. There's a discrepancy which I'm hoping you might be able to clear up. If I can. Well, one of the student nurses apparently saw you in Roger's room the other night. Also maintains that Alan was there. Alan had left the hospital at that point. So he says. Yeah. Well, was he there or not? Yeah. In and out. Uh, I didn't really keep track, you know. I mean... Well, either he was there or he wasn't there, one way or the other. Yeah, he was there. Uh, I was very concerned about Robin. Very concerned. Uh -huh. You're generally pretty hard about details like that. I was very concerned about Robin. Don't you think that I was? I never said that you weren't. Well, then just... Don't interrogate me. Hey, I'm just trying to get to the facts, ma'am. Okay. The facts are that Casey Rogers walked out of the hospital and out of our lives, hopefully forever, right? I mean, he's probably halfway across the country by now. No, he isn't. Mm -mm. I got a call from a anonymous individual saying that uh, they'd seen Casey Rogers on the Willow Road. And? Supposedly a fisherman, the guy that found my badge. But I think it was Rogers. Why? Pathetic attempt to throw me off its trail for whatever reason. 
He's in town. I'm sure of it. And while he's here, he's a threat to Robin. Oh, no, he isn't. I mean, Tom doesn't think he is. He thinks he's harmless. Oh, come on, Anna. Let's look at the facts here. This guy rolls into town, he impersonates a security officer, then he steals my clothes and my badge. Now, what's going down here? Maybe this is an attempt to use Robin for some ulterior motive. No. You're just being too protective. I don't see how you can suddenly be so complacent about this individual. I'm not being complacent. Don't you ever call me complacent where my daughter is concerned. I carried that child for nine months. I brought her up even before you knew that she was alive. I would die for that child, die for her. Don't you ever say that I'm complacent where Robin is concerned. What is you that? guys, stop it! Robin? These are bad enough without you two arguing. We're not It's arguing. about me, isn't Robin, it? No, yes, I know it is. Don't lie to me. Just stop! We're not... Happy now? Guilty and understanding of this guy, Casey, and your... Uh, your, well, your loyalty towards him. I mean, you hardly know him. He's nice. Well, people aren't always as they seem in this world, you know. I know. Um, your mum and I just got worried when we saw how concerned you became, and he, he got ill. He was my friend. I thought he was going to die. That's all? That's all. Anything else you want to tell me? I just hope, um, wherever Casey is, that he's okay and that he's safe. Well, if that's all you want, then fine. And I don't want you and Mom to argue about it. Well, I can't guarantee your mum and I won't argue. But I want you to be careful, okay? Okay. And, um, one more thing. What? I haven't been too accessible lately. Um, partly my fault. You ever have no problem? Well, I'm going to be there for you, okay? Oh, you're the best dad in the whole world. I know that. I guess what I'm trying to say in my own lead-footed fashion is if you ever get into trouble, you come to me. Yeah, me too. Huh? Me too. There you go. Okay. Okay. See? I know, and I'm sorry. I just want to keep secrets. Well, we all have a few secrets from time to time. Hopefully you learn from them. Right, Mum? Yes, dearest. It's a good thing I paged through that. Put everything in crystal clear perception. Well, if you say so. But then you always were an incurable romantic. As you have been a chronic obsessive. I'll have what I want. We both. I'll go and check. They're stopped. Nothing to worry about. They never attack unless I'm threatened. What a comfort. 